Learning more about gangs operating right here at home and the types of crimes gang members are committing. A new report from the Texas Department of Public Safety breaks everything down. Jordan Foster is here tonight. And Jordan, the findings are surprising. Yeah, Erica, you would think the most common crime committed by gang members would be murder. But today we're finding out that that's just not the case. A report from the Texas Department of Public Safety shows gang-related activity for the state. It breaks down the dominant gangs by region and crimes being committed. We have crimes that happen here and groups are involved, but as far as uh, being affiliated with a formal criminal gang, it's not something we see a whole lot here. According to the Texas DPS, the most significant gangs in Southeast Texas are the Crips, the Bloods, the Aryan Brotherhood, the Tango Blast, and the Serenos. 74% of the crimes committed by gang members are assault. Robbery comes in second at 19%. Officer Haley Morrow with the Beaumont Police Department says this is nothing new. We have seen an increase in aggravated robberies recently. Well, in those cases, we're seeing groups working together. And so in that sense of the word, whether they have a name for themselves or not, they're engaging in organized criminal activity. She says not to focus so much on the names of the gangs, but the impact they're having. In most the general sense of the term, a lot of people think about a gang and they think about the blood or the crips. And uh, again, a gang is anything where there's an organized group and they're committing crimes. Officer Morrill says vigilance is key to stopping the gang violence. If you see something on social media that makes you feel uneasy or makes you feel like it could be related to that, then absolutely report that. And that's what the Crime Stoppers program is for. The DPS report calls gangs a significant threat to public safety. The report estimates there are as many as 100,000 gang members operating in Texas at any given time. In studio, Jordan Foster, 12 News.